À un certain moment, une rumeur circulait selon laquelle la chef nationale Roseanne Archibald ne serait pas autorisée à franchir ses portes. Mais cela ne s'est pas produit. Flanquée de partisans, suspendue ou non, elle s'est présentée à l'Assemblée générale de l'OPN et a déclaré ce qui suit. Les dirigeants de l'OPN se sont tenus à leur histoire, à savoir que les plaintes déposées en milieu de travail au sujet du comportement de Mme Archibald et l'enquête sur ces plaintes sont à l'origine du conflit. Les membres de la haute direction ont fait valoir ce point devant les chefs. A number of narratives that surround this investigation and suspension. And there is a truth to be had through the findings of the investigation. That will take time. It all began with four workplace complaints made on May 17th and 18th. The complaints were about the national chiefs. Conduct in the workplace. La chef nationale a été suspendue le 17 juin. Ça ne devait pas se passer comme ça. Il y a moins d'un an, Roseanne Archibald a été élue première femme chef de l'OPN dans l'histoire de l'organisation. Elle a été élue dans le cadre d'un programme visant à secouer l'organisation et à la rendre plus transparente. Madame Archibald a affirmé à OPTN le mois dernier qu'elle était victime d'une campagne de salissage. And this pattern that I've experienced at the AFN of launching HR investigations, I really hope people see it. They see that there is a real toxic pattern in the organization. And that's really why I'm asking for an independent investigation into the AFN to look at where these toxic patterns are sitting in the organization. How do we clean them out and how do we heal them? Pam Palmer. Universitaire Migma a déclaré que les dirigeants de l'OPN avaient outrepassé leur autorité. What chosen to do is instead of dealing with the HR issue, is they've now politicized it. They attempted at first to suspend her as national chief, which they have no authority to do. Then they backtracked, said they were getting rid of her on the board, but the the political damage has already been done for a staffing issue. L'universitaire Negan Sinclair a indiqué à APTN qu'il croit que les deux parties doivent assumer un part de responsabilité. And it's really a colossal failure on both sides, particularly by the national chief to not be able to bring people onto the side of her vision. And then on the other side, the regional chiefs who seem to just not want change in any direction. Pam Palmer explique que peu importe ce qui s'est passé au cours de cette assemblée de trois jours, le mal est déjà fait. And this is a, a disgrace. It's an embarrassment to all of the First Nations in this country. And it's it just shows how far gone the Assembly of First Nations has become. The partisans of Madame Archibald à Vancouver ne sont pas impressionnés. What she's going through with the suspension and trying to be thrown out uh, is really disgraceful. The Assembly of First Nations should stand for upholding our matriarchs, and instead they're providing a lot of wishy-washy allegations that, frankly, aren't even the worst things that regional chiefs and chiefs and AFN affiliates have done in the past. So all of this is really shady to me. À l'extérieur de l'Assemblée, la chef nationale affirme détenir des preuves de corruption dans un courriel. Un courriel qu'APTN n'a pas encore obtenu. The whole system at AFN has a financial corruption that needs to be fixed. That's it. And this million dollar ask and my rejection of it is one example. There are many examples of staff payouts that we have to investigate under a forensic audit. Le troisième jour, une vérification judiciaire de l'OPN a été approuvée. I have sent the information with respect to corruption to all chiefs across Canada. Cependant, nombreux sont ceux qui ont eu l'impression que peu de choses supplémentaires ont été accomplies. Bien que la chef nationale ait vu sa suspension annulée, la suspension a pris beaucoup d'ampleur selon certains délégués présents. I feel frustrated first and foremost that uh, we're spending so much time on this and not uh, not enough time on the issues that really matter to our communities. En fin de compte, la chef nationale a survécu à la semaine avec son mandat intact. Mais il reste à voir si la volonté politique est là pour donner suite à la vérification. And the last few days have been mired in drama and ego. In these times of uncertainty, distractions and lack of leadership at the AFN, Serpentor will be suspending its participation in today's assembly. 
and we'll be going back to our community to hold discussions on our future. To my community and to other communities, I want to apologize for this assembly. To our elders, our youth, and the next generation, we have failed you, but we can't waste any more time on this. Our people need us, and we are going home. Miigwech. Un reportage de Rob Smith, Nouvelle Nationale d'Opétain, Vancouver.